Hello, hello, my friends. How are you? This is Angelina Statkov um, from Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I'm, I would like to connect with you and to share the word of God and what the Lord's been speaking in the last days for the whole situation and the time that we live in. And I, I hope you are not caught by surprise because the Holy Spirit has been speaking to his prophets and to his people about the time that we live right now in so be encouraged people of god the message today i will share with you is to encourage you to empower you to lift you up in the spirit because all what god is doing right now is raising this army powerful powerful army of the lord <laughs> you've been prepared you've been equipped for such time as this in the last two years, the Lord spoke a lot about raising His army and bringing His people back to Himself. Uh, we all are called in a ministry of reconciliation. So we've been doing um, uh, and teaching the people of God how to stay close to Jesus and remember what the Lord was speaking. The anointing that you carry like, uh, right now is not going to help you in future. You have to receive more from God. So don't be just contained and satisfied with what you got today because tomorrow the days will be very difficult and you need more from God. And uh, also another word that the Lord was speaking, if you could go around with some of your uh, compromises in your life and things that you do and you know they are wrong before God and you thought, okay, there is time, I can change, I, I'm in control, I can always stop doing that. God was speaking and encouraging you to confess your sins and change your ways. So uh, here we are in the middle of these uh, perilous times that we know that uh, the Bible has been speaking about, but we, that we're going to get to this point where the church and the whole world will go through these sufferings and this, this, uh, 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 this uh, trouble that comes from the enemy. And when God was warning us, he really meant that when he said that the devil and, and uh, hell is erupting, um, this uh, um, demons from hell and all this iniquity and all this uncleanness that comes out of there so we see what's going on and um, i believe that all the christians in all the world are not caught by surprise because the lord will never do something before he tells his prophets his servants and we've been warning the people of god hey one day you will not even have a social media to talk and you have to hear from the lord and to know what is happening and how to pray for your brothers and sisters so uh, god's been preparing us he's been preparing us so um he wants to encourage you today i uh, we pray for our brothers and sisters in in United States and all over the world and uh, I hope you heard from the from the Lord put the blood of the lamp on your door pole and the pledge on the, of Egypt will not touch you because you are chosen the generation you are you are a people of God and, and nothing in this world will touch you or harm you so I hope you hold on to his promises and uh, we have to remember everything that what the Lord has been speaking to us because this is what he was preparing us for. A time of when everything that we've been holding on is going to be shake. The things that uh, seem secure and, uh, um, and giving us security and uh, stability start shaking. And then we will have to really, really trust God that he's going to lead you through all this victoriously. And you're going to be blessed, but also going to be a blessing for other people. And this is when the gifts and all the all the uh, things that the Lord has entrusted in us are very important, but also uh, what is really important to show the love of Jesus right now to the dying world, because we've been through similar situation, we've been through similar um, uh, distress uh, when we were missionaries back in Macedonia uh, in 2001. There was a civil war, and for those who um, who read our story, um, know how we describe all the distress that the whole nation was. We had um, literally people dying in our surrounding. There was like either friends or neighbors that had somebody that died in this civil war. And people were mourning from um, losing their loved ones and uh, people were afraid. The fear was so prevalent and the, the depression over the people's lives. But uh, I want to encourage you, people of God, get ready because this is the great time of a harvest of souls. 
so we have to be ready to be light and to speak life over many because right now so many people are questioning God they're questioning their faith in God they're questioning their walk with Jesus or if their faith their faith is being tested so now is the time when we have to speak the truth we have to speak the truth that's going to set so many people set is going to set them free so many captures will be um, uh, set free and you are the carrier of the glory of god and you have the answers and you have the power and the anointing so now is the time when we're gonna be sent out to bring great truths for the kingdom of god and when god has been speaking about prosperity and when god was uh, all the promises about his blessing us believe me god is more concerned about our soul than anything else that he has promised to you he, just hold on to his promises he's faithful he will never leave, never leave you never forsake you you will not beg for food but just know that the, what God is right now uh, for is the salvation of the soul many people will come to the point to cry out to God and they will seek to those and they will look for those that carry the answers those that carry the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit and that's why be a prepared and be ready to be answered to be the answer to to those to this need that is coming because god says there will be a great great hunger for the word of god great hunger for the rhema word great hunger to hear to experience the power and the presence of god in the midst of all this distress and this uh, fear that is par paralyzing so many people's lives and um, some things that the devil wanted to 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 uh, really uh, bring people to depress, to depress the people, to bring them to depression and oppression, God's going to turn it for good. So even just the fact that we are out, families uh, gathered uh, together in our houses and we don't have um, places to go and st we just stay home. And this is a place and time when God wants to reconcile the families and the things that uh, in our busy lives we've been um, being neglecting in our relationships. Now is the time to reconcile to bring the things uh, like to open and to ask for forgiveness even to the people that you didn't have time or didn't think is important to ask for forgiveness um, just make your path straight and make your way straight before God align with the word of God if you have to forgive somebody don't wait they to call you you just call them and talk to them um, if you have to um, share your sins and and concerns and fear now is the time to talk to your your um, spouse now is the time to talk to your children this time is precious and this is the only thing that we we have in abundance right now the time to spend with our families and to reconcile with those that we um, either hurt or they hurt us even you know that the Bible says that if somebody did uh, do you wrong you go and ask for forgiveness because God wants to bring victory out of all this right now we are just on a hold now uh, like pause <laughs> and God wants we to to come closer to him like never before so uh doesn't matter what is happening outside in the world God's promise for God's children is the pledge of the earth of the earth and the pledge of the Egypt will not touch the chosen ones and the people of God so spend your time wisely and uh, spend your time with family, spend your time with the word of God, spend your time uh, reading and um, the scriptures, but also hearing from the Lord. Because God, there is such a great demand. Um, you don't need the pastor or the prophet or whoever just to intercede and bring you to the Lord. <laughs> you will have access to heaven 24 seven right there, right now. So be encouraged, be encouraged to cry out to God. God is faithful to speak to you. He's going to calm the storm in your soul. He's going to calm, calm the storm in your emotions. He's going to calm the storm in your mind. And you're going to start seeing clearly uh, the, the purpose of God in your life. And you to hear from the Lord is the most important in these days. To know the, the will of the Father for you personally. So now is the time when you can uh, 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 reconnect with God. And you know how to do that through the Holy Spirit. So first repent ask for forgiveness and the Holy Spirit is going to come in your room and he's going to fill your room. He's going to fill your heart. And then you're going to pray the prayer uh, that's going to come not from your mind, not from your emotions, but it's going to come from the spirit. And uh, the, the prayer is, um, 
is a spiritual thing so you have to open your mouth and actually verbalize the things that you want to say to god and uh, so um be encouraged to speak to god speak and uh, pray and uh, seek his will for you and he's going to give you dreams and visions he's going to open your spiritual eyes and he's going to encourage you because um you know when these things happen and when all the the news were flooded with the information about this like literally spirit of death going around the world and and taking uh, the lives of so many people and uh and it's so horrible and you know like and and it's normal to start feeling fear but we as christians we don't we can feel fear but we are not led by the fear and we don't act according to the fear we don't allow the fear to paralyze our lives we know um in whom we believe and we know that he is in control and when we look at the scriptures we are like oh my god uh we live in end days hallelujah the lord jesus christ is coming soon and i want to share with you the lord reminded me when we you see these things happening in the world when you see these things happening lift up your heads because your salvation is near your redeemer is near jesus christ is coming soon so you don't have to be real super spiritual to uh, see the signs the signs are not hidden they are around us and uh, we have to know that god is concerned about our soul the salvation of so many and this great harvest is going to fill the heaven the is going to fill the heaven and the lord spoke to, um, to his prophets, he spoke to us the other day and he said, the wedding of the lamb is ready. The table is prepared. So many, so many, many times God has been showing us the table prepared with everything ready, the plates, the cups, everything is just so beautiful. And God's been showing this in vision so many times. The, the wedding of the lamb is ready. And uh, so God is sending his servants all over to bring the people to join the wedding so god is calling his people come to the wedding come to the wedding god speaks about jesus speaks about the beautiful bride blameless spotless humble before his groom so now is the time when god is calling many many people he puts even more chairs around this table because he wants the wedding to be overflowed with people with safe people so don't be discouraged god is shaking the, this earth to bring more more people to salvation this is the answer you've been asking and um so now we have to rejoice because the salvation is near because our jesus christ our lord jesus christ is coming soon and we're going to rejoice forever we're going to enter into this eternal joy with our lord jesus christ and uh, we live in this wonderful wonderful last days so now is the time to shine your light brighter than ever and to uh, put oil in your um, in your lamps and to be uh, anointed with this oil and to speak the truth that comes with power because we have in such a favor favor time from god when we have the holy spirit in us and he's speaking to us he's leading us and he's gonna speak through your mouth to the people that are confused the people that have uh, questions and they they just want to come to god but they don't know how and you're going to be the vessel that god's going to use to bring so many people to salvation so get ready to talk about god to unusual places in unusual places and unusual ways use every platform that god is giving you to be the light and to speak about the eternity to speak about the eternity the salvation of the soul this is the most important this is why jesus came this is why jesus christ shed his blood on this cross so we to live it in eternal life and i believe that the anointing and the power of the holy spirit is so powerful over his church in these last days that these uh, viruses and demonic things uh, on the contact will die so be encouraged people of god because the power and the anointing is increasing and god is being speaking this prophetically for many years it doesn't matter how much the the hell is erupting all these unclean things from there the grace of god the power of god is going to increase is all going to be always more god is not caught by surprise i hope you are not caught by surprise that's why god's being inviting you every day receive more from me hear more from me because you're gonna need that you're gonna need this more than ever in your whole life 
So be encouraged, people of God. We have a lot of things to do. And God is giving you a platform where you're going to be able to speak the word, to speak the, the uh, to speak life in so many other people's lives. So you to be, uh, to, this is contagious, is more contagious than any virus because the Holy Spirit is spreading all around the world to bring so many people to salvation. And you have to be very, very excited for this time. <laughs> so be encouraged, be encouraged. And I was telling you the story about about Macedonia when when the greatest harvest came when the people were in distress the greatest harvest of souls people were literally knocking on our door and asking how to pray and how to come to God how what we should do to be saved oh my god we live in wonderful days you don't have to go around chase people to get saved they'll come to you <laughs> because these things are real when uh, the people in the world experience this confusion this fear and all these things that come over over the world they they don't have the answer so they'll they will find you they will ask you and you have to be ready so be encouraged we uh, love you guys we pray for all of you i would like when you see this video to put your comments down to uh, share your prayer requests because we want to pray with you feel free to contact us and we will we will set individual prayer if you need one. We want to encourage and, emp and to empower the people of God in these last days. And God has given us the tools and the way to connect. So use every possible way to be connected because God wants his body to function like never before. Yes, to bring light. So be encouraged. We're going to pray. We will um, share the, the prophetic words and the encouragement individually for every one of you. Just be uh, strong in the Lord and uh, we will be uh, victorious with Jesus Christ like always because the, we know the end of the story. Jesus won and he, he defeated the death and he defeated, defeated every sickness and every disease. So be encouraged, people of God. We love you. We will keep you in prayer. And we will certainly uh, can't wait to see you in person again. <laughs> and um, God's going to be glorified in these last days. The, the name of Jesus Christ, like never before. His promises are yes and amen. All the things that he spoke to about you, he has never, uh, he will not change his mind about you. So be encouraged uh, and uh, put aside everything that's been hindering your walk with Jesus. This is the main message today. And come close to him and trust him because he, this is the time for salvation this is the time when you have to come cl closer to jesus we love you guys and talk to you soon this is angelina statkov from charleston south carolina kirill statkov ministries and uh, if you would like to stay uh, connected with us and follow the page and what we um what god is leading us to post there uh, you can follow us on a youtube channel as well god bless you guys and uh, have a blessed day and know that God is victorious and you are more than victorious in Jesus' name. No matter what is happening in this world, you still can have victorious life. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys.